Hello, today I'm gonna compare the two most performant uh, remote gaming solutions as suggested by this guy on Reddit Nvidia game stream with Moonlight and Parsec streaming. Let's talk about main drawbacks of compared solutions. Moonlight require Nvidia GPU to be installed on your host computer. Also, the host PC should be compatible with Nvidia game stream. On the other side, with Parsec, you can use whatever GPU you want. AMD gets the same love as NVIDIA here, as they say on their site. The main con of Parsec is an intuitive configuration. At first, you need to set up the settings for your session on the host. At the second, uh, the most interesting options are configured by directly modifying the configuration file and there are no good documentation for all available options. There is how my testing setup looks like. The host is running Windows 10 with Parsec client and NVIDIA GeForce Experience for Moonlight. The PC is connected via Ethernet to the router. The client laptop is running Arch Linux with Moonlight QT client and Parsec Linux client. The laptop is connected over 5 GHz Wi-Fi to make some room for competition. I've also wrote some scripts to extract the latency values from the Parsec and Moonlight QT client and the program to draw these values on the screen in form of the graph. Here is how to understand this graph. The graph shows uh, how latency values change over time. On the x-axis we have time in seconds, on the y-axis we have latency in milliseconds. Each horizontal line is 10 milliseconds. Uh, so it is 0 milliseconds at the bottom and 100 milliseconds at the top. Each vertical line is 50 seconds. The red line represents sum of the latencies and each white line represents encode, decode and render latencies. Now let's compare picture quality and latencies in different games. At first we will, we will begin with Counter-Strike Global Offensive. At the left side of the screen we have Parsec. At the right side of the screen we have Moonlight KT. At the bottom of each client we have latency graph. As you can see, for Counter-Strike Global Offensive, the latency for Moonlight is near 3 milliseconds at all times. In uh, Parsec we have some peaks to 10-11 milliseconds and average value is uh, near 6 or 5 milliseconds. The picture quality for Parsec looks worse because uh, it has uh, visible compression artifacts. On the Moonlight we have somehow better picture quality, but it can be improved if we change bandwidth limit from 10 megabits per second to higher value. The second game to compare would be Mordhau. As you can see, latencies are similar to CSGO values. The Parsec has latencies in peaks to 10 milliseconds, in average like 5-6 milliseconds. Moonline has latencies near 3 and 1 milliseconds. As you can see, the picture quality in Parsec is much worse compared to Moonlight. There are lots of compression artifacts near text or when the character rotates or moves, the compression artifacts are everywhere.
The third game to test would be Minecraft with ray tracing shaders. Minecraft by itself uh, gives uh, CPU heavy workloads, so it may affect some of the remote gaming services. As you can see, for Parsec, latency is near 60 milliseconds, so latency is uh, very high, and uh, overall responsiveness of the game is uh, very bad. Also, picture quality looks very pure, there are lots of compression artifacts, and, uh, and time by time there are frame drops. So the Parsec is not suitable to stream Minecraft with ray tracing shade. The Moonlight has the same latencies as in previous games. The responsiveness of the game is very great and picture is clear. The last game to test would be Red Dead Redemption 2 PC version. The latencies for Moonlight is the same to Counter-Strike Global Offensive and Mordhau. For Parsec, latency is quite high, but uh, also near 10 milliseconds. But in terms of picture quality, uh, the image in the Parsec is worse, and uh, there are several frame drops during the playback. In Moonlight, picture looks more clear, and uh, there are no frame drops visible. I have recorded and analyzed all latencies and built this bar chart. As you can see for Moonlight latency at all times was near 5-6 milliseconds, at peaks it was near 8 milliseconds for Minecraft. For Parsec average latency for Counter-Strike Go, Mordhau, Red Dead Redemption was lower than 10 milliseconds, closer to 8 milliseconds. But in peaks it uh, reached 100 milliseconds, and uh, for Minecraft average was near 40 milliseconds, and peaks was uh, at uh, 60 milliseconds. Let's conclude. Moonlight offers better picture quality for lower bandwidth and worse network connection. It has easier configuration and uh, lower latencies on CPU heavy workloads. On the other hand, Parsec offers easy setup over internet and allows to use AMD graphics card at the host, but performs worse over Wi-Fi and is unusable under CPU heavy workloads. So, Moonlight should be used for in-home remote gaming setups. And Parsec is better for self-made cloud gaming or different interesting way to communicate with friends. For example, watching movies, listening to music, asking for help with computer, or to beat hard moment in the game. And that's all I wanted to say on this topic. Press the like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Comment below if you have something on your mind about Parsec or Moonlight. And thanks for watching the video. Bye.